guys so much for being here. Thank you, Mass Innovation, for having me. Uh, my name is Rain. I'm co-founder of Skelmet. Show of hands, who wear glasses or sunglasses? Okay, everyone. Uh, who has a hard time finding that perfect pair that fit you well? Quite a lot of us. Great. So for by traditional manufacturer standards, I'm nowhere near standard. Uh, my face is wider, my cheeks are higher, my nose is sh uh, shorter. But who gets to decide who's standard? We are all very different. There are 7.4 billion people in the world. No one is the same. So this is um, a couple headshots that I extracted from our database. You can see that the head shapes vary a lot, and most people don't even don't really know that the head shapes can change that much. And in fact, 90% of people aren't what so-called standard. So a lot of people have trouble finding the things that fit them. And we have come up with a solution to mass customize wearable products precisely, efficiently, and automatically by using safety art, 3D scanning, and 3D printing technologies. So this is our first product that we're launching in less than a month on Indiegogo. In fact, these are full custom 3D printed for one of our customers. And the measurements of these, uh, this pair of sunglasses correspond to 86 key points as a face and 12 parameters that we extract from his face. Um, a lot of thoughts and effort go into this, but thanks to our algorithms, this can all be done entirely automatically. So what we do is we take a 3D scan with a mobile device and our, our algorithms automatically extract all the information required and generate a product shape that's readily 3D printable. All of this happens in the cloud within seconds. You don't even know it's happening. So now you're probably wondering how you can get a pair, right? Maybe, <laughs> can I get a volunteer? I just want to quickly demonstrate how the scanning is done. You are very enthusiastic. You can come up. Yes. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Okay. So I'll need you to sit here. I hope you're okay with being the center of the spotlight. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Um, under one minute, but if you're inexperienced, it takes about two minutes. Just so need you to sit, st sit straight. Okay, and try not to move. So the hair gets in the way. That's why most of the time we ask the person to wear an ugly swim cap. I saved you from that today, but usually you would need to uh, wear a cap. It's almost there. Just need to get a little more information down here. <coughs> awesome, you kept your smile on the whole time. I'm done. <laughs> of one millimeter, which is very good enough for um, sunglasses. If it's by 0.5 millimeter and a half, you probably don't notice, but as the technology of mobile 3D scanning advances, that accuracy is going to get even better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can I have in color view too? And we can look inside his head. <laughs> Nothing inside. Um, so, yes, please. So the device I used just now is called Structure Sensor. It's relatively affordable, um, and it's, it works similarly to your Xbox Connect. And there are also things 
called Google Tango or Intel RealSense. Uh, both large companies, Intel and Google, are pushing really hard for cell phones to incorporate their 3D <coughs> scanner. So this is a Lenovo Fab 2 that came out in June last year. Um, it has a Google Tango built in. By 2018, more than 85% of cell phones are going to have this built in. So scanning is going to be very easy. I want to I want to talk briefly about manufacturing as well. You're done. <laughs> One minute. No, you're done. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that scanning took a little too long. Anyway, um, do we have questions? Yes, please. So I have one. Um, Obviously, um, you're taking um, a 3D image of a person and you're sending it up to the cloud and um, how can you assure the person that that information is secure or there's nothing going to happen to it in due course? Because it may not be medical data, but it's yeah. personal information about the dimensions of your face. Absolutely. So that's a really good question. Um, she, uh, the lady here, asked, how do we protect the 3D scan so that they are safe and secure and not leak any personal information to the public? Um, that's a really good question. So that's why we do. Uh, I mean, say, but we do our scans. The scans are in a point cloud system. What that means is it tells the location of the. Uh, it has X, Y, Z axis. Off the, uh, off the millions of points that are on that 3D scan. So what we do is we encrypt all of those points to a point where it's going to be really, really difficult to figure it out. There's, there's going to be people that try to hack us. Um, I have no doubt of that, but we try really hard to prevent that from happening in the first place. Any other questions? Yes. Can you tell us a little about the printing? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to tell you a little more about printing. So we use 3 really printing for manufacturing. It's a part of what we call something a flexible manufacturing. We're entering into a new era of manufacturing. We call it the Internet of Things for, um, for Industry 4.0. So the method is to let the machine read a 3D model so the machines can be standardized and automated. Uh, whether it's a 3D printer or a 5-axis milling machine, in fact, I have the sunglasses that's made, custom-made using 5-axis milling machine. So either, pro either, either method works. 3D printing is additive, whereas 5-axis milling is deductive. But they're all part of uh, an automation process. Thank you. Thank you.